unemployment crazy igcse welcome back to crazy igcse for those of you who are new to my channel hi this is crazy igcse where you can study seven igcse subjects at one place the subjects include biology physics english mathematics business economics and accounts so here is igcse at your fingertips please subscribe to my channel like this video and comment down now let's start the topic what is employment employment is being part of a productive activity for which you're getting paid now the productive active uh, the productive activity is for what you're getting paid the activity could include many um types of jobs it could be like your you're a person working in an office being maybe a purchase manager or you could be working in sales it could be for different um jobs then is unemployment unemployment when a person is willing and is able to work as well however is without a job changes in patterns of employment so there are uh, certain points here industrial structure proportion of women in employment proportion of workers in private and public sectors full time and part time work employed and self employed informal and formal economies high and low quality employment and flexible employment now we'll be looking at each of these points in detail industrial structure there are three types of sectors primary secondary and tertiary so for each country the highest proportion of workers in each sector will differ because some sectors may have a decline like um one of the country may have a decline in their secondary sector that's why they'll be moving towards this tertiary sector thus the workers might have to be more geographically and occupationally mobile that means they should be able to change their type of occupation and they should also be able to move from region to region the proportion of women in employment the proportion of employed women in most of the countries is increasing this is because the social attitudes and gender discrimination in people is changing this results in women being employed proportion of workers in private and public sectors so people now prefer to work in the private sector rather than the public sector that's because most of the countries now are moving into the market economy market economy is where the economy is uh, is being given de decisions by the private sector full time and part time work most people work in full time jobs as they are Uh, as they find those full time jobs and they have the appropriate skills for it however few of them do part time they work in part time maybe to match uh, their convenient timings like looking after the elderly relatives um, trying to finish a job within the children's school hours and many more points some also don't find full time jobs that is why they join the part time job employed and self employed most people work under someone else as an employee however nowadays many entrepreneurs are emerging in most of the countries uh, and those entrepreneurs are called self employed workers informal and formal economies informal in informal economy so informal in economy is when you are paid for an odd job you do it could be uh, like ha in house interior so you are paid in cash and you may not be given the social security benefits in an informal economy you will not be given the employment protection and rights like in the formal economy high and low quality employment so high quality is when there is skilled work and that work is very interesting that's why you'll be given good working conditions however low quality employment is when there are unskilled workers you don't need much training and that's why you don't get good working conditions as well flexible employment workers will adapt to new changes thus the firm should employ a flexible labor force changes in level of employment employment and unemployment both increase when the labor force is growing more than the available jobs now let's look at some definitions economically active that is when the those who are in the labor force are both employed and unemployed people economically inactive are those who are not in the labor force labor market participation rate is the proportion of working age population who are in labor force the factors which influence the labor market participation rate so first is wage and offer the higher the wages the more encouraged people are to work the social attitudes towards working women where it is acceptable 
for women to work will have greater participation rate, the provision for care of children and elderly, the greater the availability for nurseries and retirement homes, the greater the participation, social attitudes for disabled to work, the acceptance of the disabled to work will increase the potential workers in a country, the proportion of school leavers going into higher education, though more people will be in full-time education, that is when there will be less participation rate. Climate count. This is the measure of unemployment which is counted as unemployed those in receipt of unemployment benefits. There are two ways of measuring unemployment. Count those in receipt of unemployment related benefits which is climate count and this is a cheap and quick method. Second one is carrying out labor force survey, surveys. The labor force survey measure. Measure of unemployment which counts as unemployed people who are identified as such in a survey. There are certain types of unemployment, frictional unemployment, structural unemployment, cyclical unemployment, search unemployment, casual, seasonal, regional and cyclical unemployment. Frictional unemployment is temporary unemployment which arises from the workers being in between jobs. Structural unemployment is when there is um, unemployment due to the change in the pattern of demand or the change in the method of production. Cyclical unemployment is the unemployment which is caused by a lack of aggregate demand and this is the most, type, uh, this is the most dangerous type of an unemployment which will cause more harm because there will be less aggregate demand in the country. Thus, there will be um, no motive of producing any product since there will be no customers to supply the products to. Search unemployment is the unemployment arising from workers who have lost their jobs looking for a job they are willing to accept. Casual unemployment is the unemployment arises, ar arising from the workers who are regularly being between the periods of unemployment. Seasonal unemployment is caused by a fall in demand for particular times of the year. For example, raincoats. You don't require raincoats all the time. So that is when you will uh, face seasonal unemployment. Regional unemployment is caused by a decline in certain job opportunities in a particular area of the country. Technological unemployment is caused by workers being replaced by capital equipment. Nowadays, um, firms they mostly try and increase automation in their firm to increase the efficiency. That's when they employ more of, uh, they become more capital intensive. That's when they lay off the um, workers. So structural unemployment includes two uh, types of unemployment which were regional and technological and um, we have seen both those types. The consequences of unemployment. The effect on the unemployment and employed. There will be fall in income, there will be no financial assistance, there will be loss of self-worth, decline in mental and physical health, marriage breakups, they will not be able to afford education. And they'll be not able to afford education because they'll not be having enough income. The effect on firms will be that they, the firms may benefit as they'll be able to employ the unemployed and that is, that is when they'll be able to expand the production. And since the workers will be um, working for normal wages, they'll not really demand for high wages as they may uh, fear the uh, fear the part where they might be fired by the uh, managers. Then the workers will also perform with flexibility. The effect on economy, it means that the economy will not be using all resources if there is unemployment in the country, If there, uh, then there will be no much production of goods and services. The government tax revenue will be lower as there will be less corpora corporation tax, there will be less income tax, uh, so they will get less tax revenue. Then the unemployment expenditure by the government will increase. The government will have to spend more on unemployment, unemployed people. There will be a rise in the crime rate in the country.
and an opportunity cost will exist because the unemployed uh, the expenditures being spent on the unemployed could be used in investing in education infrastructure or healthcare and many more the policies to reduce unemployment so supply side policy they can cut the income rates they could also improve the education and training in the country fiscal policy and monetary policy expansionary fiscal policy increase in government spending reduction in tax rates and reduction in interest rates privatization and deregulation so we have learned fiscal policy monetary policy and supply side policy in the previous videos so please click on the card above to access those videos so this is how a climate uh, climate count diagram looks like so once again the watch time from subscribers the states are 75.8% of the people who are watching my uh, videos have not subscribed to me so uh, please subscribe to my channel and um, stay tuned for more videos please like and comment thank you very much for watching crazy igcse